Hey you crazy bot builders, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive and I want to show you today a quick tutorial on how to use Integromat. Uh, Integromat is a service that's pretty much like Zapier uh, except it's uh, far more robust and it's a lot cheaper than Zapier and uh, has almost as many apps. They don't have uh, as many apps as Zapier does, but they're 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 adding them all the time. They have all the main ones that that you would probably be interested in as a bot maker, uh, especially for lead generation. So they've got Google Sheets, they've got Airtable, you know, uh, several email applications like Mailgun and things like that. So uh, lots and lots of apps that are being added all the time, and uh, a lot more uh, a lot more robust features that we're looking for that can be used with chat fuel. So uh, one of the first and most obvious uh, differences here are the pricing schedules here for uh, Integromat and Zapier. So you'll see in, uh, Integromat, uh, their free tier, a thousand operations, a hundred megs of transfer and uh, services running at every 15 minutes is the same price as the starter package in, or is the, is the same as the starter package in Zapier, only Zapier's 20 bucks. And then for Zapier uh, to go to 3,000 tasks per month and up to 50 zaps, uh, they charge you $50. So if you come over to Integromat, uh, you get 10,000 operations and uh, five minute intervals and it's only nine bucks a month. So that's the big, big, big difference. Um, there are also some very big differences as well, where Zapier is very, very linear. Linear. You have a step one, step two, step three. If one step fails, uh, then the rest of the steps don't trigger and that zap will can just blow out and you may or may not get data back from the bots, which is, uh, or back from Zapier, which is a big issue. Uh, the thing with uh, Integromat is that you can have error handling and uh, so you could say if there is an error, uh, uh, do something else or ignore the error or continue on. There are lots and lots of options for that. Uh, they also have a thing called routers. So you could actually have data come into a webhook and then have it uh, split off and fire off an email, then split off and, and uh, fire a uh, uh, the data into a Google Sheet and then uh, do something else all at the same time. So you can have your, your uh, different uh, processes uh, branch out and do all kinds of crazy things. Uh, they can set data between each process and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots and lots of stuff there that, that make, uh, make Integromat work a lot better for chat fuel and uh, also another big feature is that you know Zapier you know can look up one sheet or one row in a Google sheet that's it it can do one operation at a time and uh, Integromat you can set it to pull back X number of records and then loop through those records to do a process as well so it has iterators and everything so um, there's a lot that you can do with it I'm gonna show you basically how to set up Integromat to run with chat fuel uh, and then how to process data into a Google Sheet and then respond. Um, oh, and before I forget, the last uh, the last big advantage that Integromat has over Zapier is that when a zap is finished, it just spits out this, this JSON that says like status, okay, and it gives you an ID for that process. Um, what we can do with Integromat is we can actually have a webhook answer. So we can have a webhook response so that we can actually put data into a Google spreadsheet, date stamp it, do whatever else we want, and then respond with JSON that ChatFuel can actually use. So that's some really, really cool stuff. So we're gonna show you how to do that, and I've got a couple of, uh, I got a little text file that I'll give you as well so that you can see what kind of JSON you can do uh, and, and respond with to, um, uh, with, with ChatFuel. So let's get started and actually create a scenario, which is kind of the, the Integromat version of a zap. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here up to the right and say create a scenario and it gives you all these apps that you can see it continue to load, continue to load. There's all these apps that we can use. We've got Go SMS, we've got Twilio, you've got just about anything you want. You've got Facebook lead ads as well. So, uh, you know, you can do that, uh, you know, manage your Facebook, you can answer comments, uh, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, basically what we want to do is we want to use a webhook and I will check that and continue. And so there we have, uh, you can automatically see that 
uh, that this is going to be far different than Zapier. It's a really cool interface. So we need to add the webhook and we're going to add just custom event. So this triggers when, um, or actually we need a custom webhook triggers when Integramat receives data. So we need a custom webhook, poof, just like that. What I'm going to do is uh, it, you can create a library of webhooks. So uh, if you create one webhook, it could handle multiple scenarios, okay, which is really cool as well. So I'm going to add a webhook and just call it um, cat fuel test, okay. You can even restrict by IP address, which is cool. And you can do, you know, have JSON pass through, all manner of things. Uh, for, the, for the demo, we're just going to go ahead, do simple options, save the webhook. Now, check this out. It gives us this webhook and it's waiting to get data. So I'm going to copy the address. I'm going to come over here to ChatFuel, and I've got a uh, just a sample flow that just grabs my email and says, then uh, once I get the email in there, then I'm going to actually do a JSON API. I like to use POST. Gets are not secure. Uh, you can't send as much data, and it's much easier to handle POSTs. So I'm going to take that uh, Integromat uh, address. I'm copying from uh, the webhook. I'm going to come in here paste that in there just like you would with Zapier and then I'm going to take attributes like um, I'm going to go obviously I want to send in the messenger user ID I want to send in first name I want to send in last name and let's send in email and we'll call it good okay and there we go so uh, that's all we need to do, right? So what we need to do next is actually trigger this JSON API and so that this webhook will collect the data and know what is coming in. So uh, I'm basically going to come over here, trigger off this block here, and click get started. And it'll say, what's my email? So I'll enter my email. And then what you'll see is that it will fire the JSON and it's going to get an error the first time. Don't worry about that because it just triggered against uh, Integromat and got basically non-JSON data back. However, what you'll see is that if you come over to the, the uh, Integromat webhook, you say it got successfully determined the data. Okay, ta-da, we're done. We caught the webhook. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add Google Sheets, right? So we want to go and search for Google Sheets and so I need to add a row all we're gonna do for this in uh, instance here is add a row and you see that like if I actually push it in there it will connect to that webhook now watch this I can actually say um, I can add another module and then I could say uh, like a router okay I could do a flow control let's see what is that um, a router. Now, it, see how a router works? You could actually trigger multiple events at the same time. Um, we're not going to do that for the for the demo here. I just wanted to show you what kind of cool stuff could be done. So let's connect that Google spreadsheet, and it's going to call home, and it's got my Google connection. I'm going to pick a file, and I need to come down here and hit test and do sheet one and what that looks like is uh, first name and once once it actually picks the worksheet it will actually refresh and give me all these fields okay so these are the fields that I have available in my Google spreadsheet and you notice that these are all empty so what I do is I click and hey there's the information from the webhook so all I got to do is I can bring in first name I can bring in last name I can bring in, uh, I, well, I forgot to send time zone, so we could re-trigger the webhook. Um, but then let's pull in, uh, down here, we'll pull in messenger ID. And uh, there we go. Instead of time zone right now, I might change that to date or something like that. But what you can also do is you can uh, input Google Sheet functions. So if I wanted to do like a date stamp, I could do now, like that. So uh, there we go. So we've got the fields loading from the webhook right into that Google Sheet. A whole lot easier than Zapier, right? So there we go. Now what we need to do is we need to add another module and we're going to go webhook 
and we want to create a webhook response. Now this is what's going to uh, give a proper response back to uh, ChatFuel. So uh, what I do is uh, if I don't need to get anything back into ChatFuel and I just want to fire and forget and just that's it, what I do is I create a JSON object and I do like status, quote, okay, like that. Okay, so that's, that would basically trigger that. So let me go over here and uh, go to my drive, get my chatbot assets here, go to my test, and then there's there's basically the sheet. We're gonna see what it looks like when I trigger this again. So now that we've actually got Integromat hooked up, I need to save it, and then I need to turn it on and it will run immediately when it receives data. So that's it, we're done setting up that, that uh, scenario. So let's see what happens when I run this again. So here it is, what's my email? So I type in my email, I can't type today, and then watch what happens. Nothing, nothing happens because we didn't have uh, any kind of answer inside the bot after the JSON API, but you notice it didn't have a JSON error. That's because uh, it actually triggered. And if we come over here, there you go. There's the data right there, right into the Google Sheet. Now let's edit the webhook and maybe respond and say, hey, thanks very much, right? Um, I've got some very basic JSON that you can answer with. What I'm going to do, is I'm gonna copy this like that, and I'm gonna come into the webhook, and I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna drop in this JSON here, ta-da, like that. I'm gonna save it, and then let's see what happens when we run it again. It should say, hello from Integromat, once we put in my email. So it says, what's your email? I say, Friedel.com. And look at that, I got a response without having to use the broadcast API. Boom, right? So uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. There it is, it added it again. Um, again, this is a very, very simple uh, demo, right? So if you wanted to, you could look, uh, you could add a, a lookup to see if I exist or not, and then update the fields, do whatever you want. There are lots and lots and lots of Integromat uh, tutorials on on different scenarios nothing on chat fuel but uh, basically that's it so if I wanted to answer that's fine if I want to set um, let's say I just want to redirect back to the welcome message I could do that too here's some uh, basically here's uh, I could I could send some text you could set user attributes you can do a welcome message basically you can do any kind of JSON response that the that the uh, chat fuel docs allow for so you could send back a gallery of items if you want you could almost run uh, uh, your own little private store off of Google Sheets you could have it look up a, a product with a title and an image card or something like that or an image URL and re return an image uh, you could do anything uh, with Integromat with a response, a webhook response. So uh, as long as you put in here some valid JSON I could say um, I could say hello and put in my first name like this, right? And so that way it would say, hello Al, I'm from Integromat. So let's try that one more time, right? Let's check it out and see how that works. I need to actually come over to Integromat and save it again. So it says, what's your email? And it's gonna actually respond with a greeting. Look at that, is that cool or what? That's how you use Integromat, guys. Um, way more powerful than Zapier. Um, it's getting more powerful all the time as they add apps. And again, uh, their pricing just can't be beat. So you can create lots and lots and lots of really cool stuff with Integromat and ChatFuel. So uh, this video has ran a little long, so hopefully, um, hopefully you, you learned a little something. And if you need uh, Integromat help, or you need uh, more bots done and all that, just message me. Uh, we do all kinds of cool stuff with bots and Integromat. All right, later on, have a good day.